Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. Today we are heading out to Leighton Lakes in search of some diamonds and rares, hoping we can actually find something good today. My luck has not been the greatest recently, it's been taking much longer to find trophies than uh, what I'm used to, so we're going to make things a little bit interesting today, and not only are we going to be searching for diamonds and rares here on Leighton, but we're also going to be using what I would consider to be the luxury handguns of Call of the Wild, which is basically just the premium looking weapon skins like the Sunberg 454 right here or the Wildcat 44 Magnum or the uh, whatever the gold uh, 22 handgun is. I, to be honest, I don't remember the name of this because I never use it, but I thought it might be fun to take all these out and try to get some trophies. But while I'm thinking of it, if you guys have not already, be sure to leave a comment down below on what you guys think is your favorite handgun in all of Call of the Wild. I'm curious which one's going to win. Is the 44 your favorite? Is the 454 your favorite? Is maybe the 45 Colt your favorite for some odd reason? Let me know down below. Okay, so that's actually a pretty big duck, and to be honest, it has a pretty decent chance at making diamond. However, I don't know if I'm going to be able to reach out that far with the handgun. Uh, we'll, we'll definitely try it, but I wouldn't bank on myself being able to actually make that shot. It, it seems like it's a little bit out of my skill level. Also, for some reason, this lake is weirdly devoid of any signs of black tail deer at all, which is definitely strange for this area. I, I tend to always see tons here, this is the first server in ages where the only thing I saw was a single doe, so that, that's a little concerning. Definitely a bit concerning. Alright, well, uh, let's attempt the impossible. If we end up missing it too much, we'll probably just have to use the uh, rifle, but uh, we'll try to get it with the handgun at least. I don't even know where I need to aim here. Oh, that was, that was almost it, actually. That was almost exactly what we needed. Well, this is going great. Absolutely as planned. Definitely as planned. You know, at least with this thing, we can just spam shots and hope we hit it. A little bit uh, better than with the rifle. However, it kind of kind of matters if I can not find it. Where did it go? Ah, oh, this is going wonderfully. Going absolutely as planned. I mean, maybe if we're lucky, we can hit this guy with the rifle, but not looking like it, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, we actually did. You know, it's sad we couldn't use the handgun to get him down, but at least we didn't let him get away. Well, here is that little duck. Let's hope this guy ends up being a diamond and it's a gold. Yeah, I kind of figured it would be on the low end and it was a brown hybrid as well. If this had been a diamond, that would have been my first ever brown hybrid diamond. So that's kind of sad. Really would have liked this guy to make it, but it is what it is, kind of what I expected. Okay, so I, I think I figured out why I wasn't able to find any black tail at that last lake. The the host changed the time. So yeah, that's that's probably why. It's it's now 8 a.m. in the morning, which is definitely not where the black tail are gonna be at the lakes. That's just uh it's just great. Might have to find another server, but I'll give this one a little bit uh, more of a chance and we'll search around some more. And see if maybe there's like an elk or something that we're uh, gonna have waiting for us. My gosh, there is so many elk at this lake. I am blown away at how many elk are here. Uh, this may be the jackpot. This may be the server that we have been looking for because that is a lot of elk and it's also a gigantic cluster of ducks, but uh, to be honest, that's nothing new with this lake. There's always a big cluster of ducks here at one point of the day or another. Man, there is three very nice elk over here, but I think that one is definitely the one that has caught my eye the most. And just because of how unique it is and how close the tip-to-tip -tip spread is, that's going to be a very cool elk to get down. And uh, hopefully it's not going to spook off. I mean, we got plenty of room to kind of stock up on it, but you never know. I honestly have a great feeling about this server just from this lake alone. It seems like a really good one. There was no need zones when I arrived at this lake and there is just elk all over and a lot of them are pretty decent level fours. So I just got a feeling that there's going to be some real trophies and you know what? And since this guy's actually going to give us a shot, let's take this giant down right here. That should be good enough. But let's get that guy too, just in case it wasn't good enough. And if possible, maybe we can hit one of these that are on the run. It's going to be hard, but 
maybe, just maybe, we can make something work. Yeah, it's not looking like it. Well, let's go pick up at least one, maybe two. I think that's one though. I think only one of them died. So it definitely looks like we hit that first one really well. So he should be dead over here pretty close. I couldn't imagine him running too far after that shot. But the second one, I don't think he's going to die, unfortunately. Uh, this guy should just be in this bush, and yes, he is. At least we got the biggest of all of the elk that were here. It's uh, definitely not the cool one that we wanted to get down, but this is still an absolute beast of a bull. Let's take a look at him. 341. My gosh, some of these level 4 Roosevelt's are just absolutely beautiful. You know, I, I have always had a problem with some of the true racks for the Roosevelt elk, but everything level 4 and above is pretty nice for the most part. I think it's really just the level 3s and belows that kind of lack, I guess, the proper shape of their antlers a lot of the time. But pretty much all the level 4 and above elk do look pretty decent. Oh my gosh, hello there. Uh, well, that's the first uh, decent trophy of the day that isn't just like a level 4. If we could hit it, there we go. Maybe we can get another into it, but it does look like it is going to get away or at least get quite a ways away before we can drop another into it. I'm just going to hope that shot hit. I'm just happy to see something other than a level 4 elk or a level 2 duck. It's, it's nice to see a rare, even if it is just a doe. Oh my gosh, did we drop it on that second shot? I think we did. I think we dropped it with that 454 shot. Oh my gosh, and it's vitals. Did we save it? We did. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. That's actually kind of insane. I never would have expected that, but you know what? I'll take it. That is our uh, first rare of the day, about a little over an hour into recording this, so I think we're making good time as of now. Oh, there we go. We got ourselves a level 3 mallard duck. Uh, not the diamond I was hoping to find, but you know what? I will take it after not finding much besides that piebald doe for the last, like, three days. So, yeah, that, that's a breath of fresh air right there. If we can just get this thing with the handgun, that'll be amazing. But the question is, can we even get that close without spooking it off knowing me? That's also a really large level 4 moose next to that duck. We're probably going to try and get him if we don't spook him off from uh, taking this duck down. Because that is a very good looking moose and I'd like to get him on the ground. Uh, but this duck is number one priority. 117 meters away. Uh, this is going to be tough right here to cross without spooking it. I think we can do it if we're careful though. So we are currently at about 77. We need to get to 75 for this to be a uh, perfectly makeable shot. And I think this will do it right here. If we could just spot him, that'd be great. There we go. Yeah, roughly 75 away. If we can make this, this will be amazing. And just like that, we have our duck down. Let's hope that it didn't spook off the moose, although I don't even see him anymore, so he might be behind the brush. I guess we'll find out. But here is that little diamond potential duck. This should have no reason that it would troll, so... Yeah, 19.70, uh, black brown mallard duck. This is the normal color for them, unfortunately, so we didn't get any rare or uh, uncommon, sadly. Was really hoping we'd get a brown hybrid as we got at the beginning of this, but sadly it wasn't a diamond. This guy, however, is a diamond, but not the fur type that I like, or plumage type, I guess, but still really cool. Good to get a diamond down. Let's go ahead and tax that guy, and I think we will uh, move on to something else now. Okay, that is actually a pretty big rabbit. I think we should chase that guy down because I have not shot a 5 to 6 kg rabbit in a long time and we haven't taken one in this video either. So let's try to sneak up on that thing and take it out with the 22 handgun. I think we should be able to get pretty close pretty easily. Rabbits don't spook very much, so I think we'll be fine. Ooh, there we go. Oh my gosh, a 273 minimum score. Oh my gosh, our day just got even better. Uh, I don't care about that rabbit anymore. This could potentially be my biggest white-tailed deer ever. I have, well, not necessarily ever, but my biggest one on the current scoring for the white-tail, because as most of you know, a long time ago when the white-tail used to reach higher scores than they do now, I did manage to get a 291 scoring white-tail, but they don't get that big anymore, so... This 
probably will be my biggest one ever since that uh, that update that changed the scoring on them. Unless this guy scores at the very low end of the estimate, if so, then he'll probably not quite make it. Because as of now, my best on this new scoring for Whitetail is 274.4, I believe, but the tip to tip spread looks amazing on this guy. I think this could be my new best Whitetail, or at least very close. The way that this guy just ran out of the trees like that is incredible. This is one of those situations where you never expect it to unfold this way. And then just out comes trotting one of the biggest bucks you've ever seen. Just quite a crazy moment watching him trot out of the trees when I wasn't even intending on hunting whitetail at all today because we've seen a million whitetail on the channel. I was going to focus on stuff that wasn't whitetail, but you know what? The whitetail always seemed to find a way to get into my videos somehow. And uh, this guy is definitely going to be something we take down very soon. I think we can probably take him very, very shortly. The 454 has incredible penetration, so I think it should be pretty easy to make a shot from here. But to be on the safe side, let's try to get as close as he'll allow us to, and then we'll take the shot. My gosh, though, his antlers are just insane. That is by far the biggest rack I've seen in ages, and 63 meters away. I think we can do this right here. And that is a giant whitetail deer on the ground. Oh my gosh, the size of this guy. I did not expect to find something quite like this. Would not be surprised if this is a max weight as well. Typically, the ones that are this high of scoring are very close to max weight. And oh my gosh, just look at the size of him. Now that is a true monster whitetail. That guy is truly a giant. If I've ever seen one. Uh, let's go ahead and claim him before we crash or anything weird like that. 27460. This is a new personal best whitetail on the newer scoring for them. Oh my gosh, just look at the size of him. That tip to tip spread is beautiful. This might be one of the best looking whitetail I've killed ever as well. This day is just getting better and better. We started out with a uh, unfortunate piebald female. And then we got ourselves a diamond duck, and now, just like, maybe 15 minutes later, we get a diamond whitetail. And it is ju just an absolute giant. That's crazy. I am just absolutely blown away and overjoyed with the fact that we managed to bag this monster right here. Just look at the tip-to-tip -tip spread. 22 inches. That is crazy tip-to-tip -tip spread for this particular rack. That is amazing. This is by far the greatest trophy we've killed. Uh, probably in like two, maybe three months. That's just wild. You know, honestly, guys, I don't think there's any way that I could possibly top that deer that we just killed. So I think we're going to go ahead and jump into the lodge and take a look at him along with the other trophies we killed because I mean, this guy's big enough to be a new main lodge addition. I don't think there's any way we're going to be topping that today. So let's go ahead and jump in there. And I, I just smacked my microphone. I hope that didn't uh, hurt anybody's ears. We're just going to hope it didn't. But anyway, let's jump into the lodge. Well, now the question is, where are we going to put this guy in the lodge? I'm thinking he's got to go somewhere where we already have some whitetail. Now, we do have a couple bucks up on the wall in this room, if I'm not mistaken. So we just might end up replacing one of these. Uh, this guy right here is kind of a cool looking 257 that had very close tip to tip spread. And that guy's a 255. You know, I think it's probably fitting that we put one of our smallest uh, whitetail diamonds that actually looks good across from our brand new personal best. So let's go ahead and drop this guy right here. And you know what's crazy is this actually reminds me of my 291 that I got a really long time ago because it, it's got the same kind of shape to its rack. Now, the only difference is nowadays they don't quite score that high, so he is a little bit smaller, obviously, but he's got the same shape to his antlers, and I really like that. As you can especially see it from this angle. His antlers almost go straight out when you get to the middle of each beam, and then it tends to hook in a little bit more towards the tips, but it looks so good. I'm a huge fan of this rack, and this is probably the best looking diamond whitetail I've killed in the last year and year and a half, probably. Absolute beauty. Besides, obviously, the piebald diamonds, those will forever be the best diamond whitetail I've killed. But when it comes to just regular diamonds, 
that guy is a top diamond for me. And as far as the duck and the blacktail go, not really going to put them in this main lodge, so we'll go ahead and just end the video there. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. This was quite the crazy hunt from start to finish. We had a pretty good stream of decent trophies in the last like 45 minutes, which is awesome. We spent like an hour finding nothing, and then it just all started working out, which is honestly the way that it goes in Call of the Wild 9 times out of 10. You start out rough, and then things just tend to go your way eventually the longer you play. You keep on trying, eventually something good will happen, and that's one thing that I've always learned in Call of the Wild is that the longer you proceed to try and chase down these trophies, the higher chances that you will run into something and eventually find yourself a good server that's very lightly hunted and has some decent trophies on it. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below on what the biggest whitetail deer you currently have is. Not great ones, but just diamonds. And I will try to respond to as many of the comments as I can. With that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!